This is a must win for the Toronto Defiant. Uh, and not just like a must win, like a 3-2, like, hey, we, we just got bombed from whoop. So Parents could get through this fight relatively cheap and potentially hold for the rest of this point. Jisoo leads the way for his team right now. A couple of final blows. Oh, that's beautiful. Wub sails into the... Trying to knock some of these eternal players off the board if he can. Finale finds a stick, it's good damage. Madan has a pretty robust health pool in the first place. Another pick from Hisu though, this time hard to get a headshot on the Wrecking Ball. You know he has to be out of rolling form to do that. Khan finds two though. Last name, Inge, never forget. Finale gets kicked as he tries to bring the Zen down and there's Dove. Gonna remove him now, Dre moving over to a ball support and that will be that for the eternal first round. Pulse bomb for Finale. Another hack on a Wrecking Ball would be great, but Hisu's still returning to the fray here. Wub is so low. Nice work by Twilight there. Not always easy to connect the unscoped shot at that kind of range. It looks like Toronto have done it. They've done enough in this round. Muse is... Oh, but there just punctuates the point. They're going to do enough to flip it. Can they do enough to... Okay, so they get rid of Dridro. Yeah, nobody going to be able to come and contest. I was going to say... And the rally is up from Dridro. Can't like benefit from map. it. Yep, it's so hard to take down the Zen with that rally in play. Paris. Looking very good, Khan playing from a very safe nook here while Dan plays the doorman. The Defiant hang their heads here. I mean, they're playing the wrong comp to try and blow the Eternal up quickly, right? There's no shock and awe. And they're not able to deal with the Wrecking Ball. Dan stays alive for so much of the round here. And oh, that's pretty annoying for Toronto. They're going to have to try and stall for themselves, but they need to convert a stall into a winning fight. And that's just not easy to do here. And it's not enough. No, it's uh, Paris Eternal. It's really just one elongated fight here. They're just spawn killing Chorobo. <laughs> yeah, the Defiant are going to be forced a little bit of attention to be paid towards them. Finale gets a Nanuno Blade here, so going to get it done the old-fashioned way. He needs to connect a few of these shurikens to really pressure Dredro out, but the rest of his team's done a stellar job. Hotbar and Hisu at the four. And that's a ball going by the wayside. Storm Arrow to try and clear it. Frustrating for him. Oh, wait, sorry! Dritro down! How did he find that kill? Dove able to get rid of Hopper though now. There's the Dragon Strike to the card and Wubby's back in the fray. Here's the blade, but he's with the buyer before he goes in. Is forced to spend the time deflecting. Chorong comes up and kicks him real hard. Dove on the flank. Nice stick. That is very clean mechanics, but can't find the killers. Chorong gets the nano boost. You mentioned it, Matt. Here it is. Twilight using that ult defensively now. Where are Paris? Nowhere to be seen. It will need to fight finishing the map right now as a as a outlier all right here it comes dub flank playing aggressively who gets the short end of the rail gun answer everyone absolutely everyone going in now the big zen pick chorong jealous he switched over the break about a minute ago and then Khan's able to get away with this with the Transcendence. Hot was overextended. He tries to get back towards the card here. He gets a Harmony or Bionic Grenade as well thrown at him. He's able to take a breather. Somehow Hot Bar gets back into the fight. But Wub's going to be there with the Dragon Blade. Dove runs Finale over. It's a headshot from the Railgun. And the mine takes the Winston down. Pressure on Twilight. He had to use the defensive Bionic Grenade on himself. But Wub can't get there. He's put to sleep. Here comes Dan. <laughs> it's Dan and Dridro against the wall. The Eternal trying desperately to finish the round. There's 10 seconds left. He soon stays clear of the Wrecking Ball so far. He's not locked off the map. In fact, he's sitting comfortably in this back corner. Paris are brought to their knees and to a screeching halt as the Toronto Defiant outlast the Eternal. I mean, they were searching for answers the entire time, Toronto. Right now, the Defiant want to advance with it if they can. Defensive body grenade thrown to the ground there. He's who top right on up, but takes a ton of damage. He gets nano just to keep him alive, maybe. Darn slept again. Twilight is the orchestra, I guess, of all of this, but it's wiping there with a double pulse. Yeah, and, and they end up using oh. the nano. And Senate's in play now, a chance to use it more effectively. And Well, again, okay, we lost the player. Better hit Q. Twilight's out of the picture here. What do they get for this transcendence? Unclear, but Dove looking to try and finish off Finale. He's able to recall just before that rail comes in. Dodging away from it. A tough angle for Dove to navigate, but still the Eternal. I'm making an attempt. Don't want to end the round here, for sure. Hot Barry on the Wrecking Ball. Spin the win on the cart. Keep an eye on Dove there. Playing pretty far forward. And here's that sound barrier from Dredro. Support ultimates being banked up by the Eternal. It's time to see them get value. Can't under so much pressure here. Finale's trying to finish the job. Maybe this Pulse Bomb has a better destination though. Yeah, the Winston perhaps. Dan takes a big hit, but Dove's going to be there to get rid of Chorong. And where are the Defiant? Down to three. Hot seen better days as well. And it looks like the Paris Eternal are going to be able to push through, winning two fights in a row. 
Now they're starting to miss some of these key moments and the Defiant Talia. has a sound barrier. Bow support ultimates used by the Defiant, but here comes Drigdro with the rally. It's Twilight finding Khan first. He's still looking healthy, getting a bit of space now as the healing comes in from the Moira from the low ground, but Drigdro finds two. He got both backliners. Drigdro's looking to try and carry the Eternal, kicking and screaming over the line here, and he looks like he's done it. There's nothing flashy about these games, uh, but the Eternal... No, it was Muse. Uh, what does he get with that? He's so was split. The supports are over here on this side, uh, and then the car, the, b the bot is moving all the way around on the other side. Uh, everybody just split on both sides of the map. No other heroes that he can't really have a huge, yeah, a huge you know, game-changing impact on. Hisu finally realizing the Oh no! Yeah, he can't believe it. That's an ankle snapper, Matt. If I've ever seen one. He gave him the wiggle there. <laughs> oh my. Okay, this is getting a little out of hand. Dub finds a rail, finally feels like an eternity since he's been able to get himself onto the right side of the kill feed, but Muse is instantly going to find Khan, but in the hands of the Defiant. As the Eternal, oh my god, it's such a hike to try and get back into this game, and it's insurmountable odds, Matthew. That is that. Wrecking Ball on the point now, Minefield thrown down around the bot, Chorong able to shield bash away, but the Defiant don't care, they're in overtime, they're going to push all the way in Paris. What a capitulation. That is mental boom uh, playing out in front of you. Something else. Be massive. Is that a rally from Chorong? Keep an eye on Khan here. This is where Anna gets deadly when there's not a lot of pressure on her. Dan can't say the same though. Hisu eventually able to bring him down. Nice right on vertical from Dove. Finds Hisu. Pressure on Muse now. Who's had a quiet round on the Doomfist by comparison to Dan? The Defiant now, it's equal scoreline. Toronto had to think a little bit deeper. They want to get this fight done, but that's through Transcendence and Finale disintegrates under the orbital strike lance of Dove. And Paris comes out on top through that Transcendence, no less. That's a backbreaker. He to come back into the fight with Orb to get out. He could play extra aggressive, and that's just what the Eternal need right now. A little bit more pepper, a little bit more spring in their step, and look at Isu clinging to life on the high ground. It would be Wubble, it would have been a Doomfist either way. It would have been his demise, and Paris get the first round. But again, he's brought down by Hisu's rail. Stick on the Doom. Darn doesn't know what hit him. And that's about that now. I've seen mana boost from Khan to try and keep Wub alive, but he's very, very low. Pulse might be a difference maker, though. Muse gets rid of the offending Ana, though. That should do it here. The Toronto Defiant say, no, we're going to take this all the way. Time actually get this up to 99. It's not unrealistic. It's happened before, Matt. Kisu though, able to find some big rail connections. That one on the Wub this time. Dream throw a headshot wasn't even necessary, but it'll take style points. The ball stalling. And this is the problem with Twilight playing the Ana, right? We saw when they switched on New Queen Street. Ball that could have been. Oh my! No connection there, but many more opportunities will present themselves in this fight. Here comes Karma the Transcendence now. Dub ruminating, thinking about this pulse bomb. It's a stick. It's good. Twilight goes down, but he's just got to respond immediately. Now we have a four v four. Torong on this Lucio. Trying to keep Hisu well protected throughout this ultimate kick him out of traffic and so he does. He looks both ways. Hisu survives and brings Drigdro down. The Eternal are down to two players on the point. It's one, it's done, and that's about it. The Sombra trying to stay alive and the Wrecking Ball wants to try and pressure Hisu if possible. But that rail's ready to go. Dub gets rid of Finale. Finally, he wins the Tracer duel. Finally, Hisu gets rid of the Wrecking Ball though and Mob needs to go further. Dub also needs to continue to extend his presence on this point. The Defiant is still in control. We're still in this over time now, Khan coming back here, having switched over towards the Ana, anticipating a longer fight, but Dove can't get away. He still wants to play from the fringes of the fight, and Muse drops in, there it is, Dove is removed, he can't get away, Soundberry for Dreamdro, only two players to benefit from it, it's him and Khan, Wrecking Ball's gonna be there, but Dan didn't get the overshield, and now all eyes turn towards him. Finale has a pulse bomb, does he let it go right now? He won't have to, Khan drops in, stuck immediately, and that is about that. Dove is removed and the Defiant have done it. Heartbreak City for Paris. It, it is Heartbreak City as Paris was so close to taking this series. So.